Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we don't have a lot going on, but I am on my way to the gym today. And I'm just packing up some snacks. I have some yummy go squeeze that they love. And then I have some apples that I cut up yesterday and I put in the fridge. So that's why they look like that, but they're still delicious. I got some rice grits, some Oreos, and some oranges in here. I'm gonna get another water. And I'm actually gonna take this for me. Some watermelons that I bought at the store too because I like that. So I actually managed to put everything in here. Like everything is just in there. So we're back home and I'm about to eat my little lunch now. After the gym, we went to the park and the kids got tired. Leo took like a five minute nap and now he's up. Oliver took a car ride home nap, which was like 15 minutes. Not bad, but not enough. So I'm sitting down because I want to tell you something that happened today at the gym. We were there for about like 10 minutes, 10 minutes. We got there, I led him, you know, into the little room where they're supposed to stay. And then I went and I got to the machine. After 10 minutes of me being on the machine, mind you, they were fine once I left them there. What baby? I don't know what that means. Big Spider-Man. Big Spider-Man? Yes. So mind you, they were fine once I left them. Whatever. I go through my thing. I'm dying. I did the stairs for the first time. I usually start on the treadmill. You found it? Good job. Play with them. So anyways, I, I'm done with whatever I'm doing. I go check on them. I usually check on them within like 5 to 10 minutes. It's been like 10 minutes. So I was like, okay, let me just check on them. Something in my gut was telling me just go check. Um, especially since I didn't know like the person that was caring for them i've never seen that person before so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and check just to see how they're doing and i go there to the door it's closed they usually keep it locked because kids do try to get out leo has been one of them so whatever i'm fine with that i look through the little window i peek and i see that oliver is sitting on a little chair isolated from everybody facing the wall so he's isolated and he's facing the wall and i'm just like okay that's weird and then I see her right next to him, like pointing at him, telling him to sit down, I guess like disciplining him, which is like fine, right? To an extent. But then I see her holding him down with the other arm. So like one, she is pointing at him. The other one is like holding him down to like sit down, which is like, okay, discipline him. That's fine. But like, don't put your hands on my kid. Like, I'm like, okay, you can discipline him. Yes, whatever, like sit him. But don't like hold him down like that. I felt so bad. My heart just sank. He, he just started crying at her because like, you know, he just didn't want to do that. Like, and he's not like the type of kid that won't listen. He does listen and he is getting to the terrible twos, but he does listen. I immediately, once I saw that, I just opened the door super fast and I just busted in there and I went straight towards him. And I was like, Oliver, are you okay? And as I'm saying that, as I'm going through the door, he just sees me and comes running to me and he's like laughing, crying, just having all these emotions like, oh, mommy, like, you know, like relievement, like a relief feeling that he had just coming towards me. And that just hurt my heart even more. And I don't know why she looked at me shocked. Like, like, why was I coming back so early or whatever? I mean, I don't want to assume, but she did look at me like all surprised that I was just there. And then she tells me, oh, I just had him sitting there because he hit me in the face and he pulled my hair and i just look at her and i just look at oliver and i keep asking him are you okay oliver it's okay you're okay you okay and then she just keeps telling me yeah he was just not listening to me this and that and i just look at her and in my head i'm like okay but that's what a two-year-old does like he, yeah he didn't listen to you i understand that you're frustrated you have you know five kids here in your care but like we've been here for 10 minutes couldn't you have talked to him? Couldn't you have like pulled him away and let him play with something else? Like I was just so mad that I didn't say anything. I just kind of got Leo and just went about my day. I, was, I just told her, okay. And I just went about my day. I did tell her, oh, I'm so sorry about that. And I just left because I didn't know what else to say. But now because I did talk about it on my Instagram and some people have said like, no, we worked in a daycare before. We're not supposed to even touch our kids and let alone somebody else's like that in, in the business time because it's not our child we can talk to them but we should never raise our voice because that's not how they're gonna learn hi 
and it's just not the way you know you handle kids and every kid is different and all that and that just bothered me even more because i had a gut feeling something was happening i'm kind of upset i didn't say something first of all i should have asked why did he do that did something happen because usually he doesn't react that way it's very unusual for him to do that especially somebody he doesn't know it's normal for him to do it to leo because he's comfortable with leo he lives with him and if leo takes away a toy it's completely normal reaction for him to do that as a two-year-old but like for somebody else that he doesn't know especially he's so shy around new people and also i would have wished i would have told her how to handle him like for example if he gets mad or doesn't listen or whatever just offer him a snack i always take them snacks or offer him a toy he has toys in a little book bag like i don't know seeing them like that seeing him like that being punished by somebody else just hurt my feelings <laughs> i don't know whatever rant over but it just it really bothered me i mean if i see her again the next time i go i'm gonna talk to her and i'm gonna ask her hey listen if something like this happens again i want you to please immediately go get me and i will handle him or if you don't have like the chance to go get me please offer him a little snack offer him another toy and just let him play alone because that's usually what he likes to do just be alone maybe he was overwhelmed and that's why he did that but just please go get me and it's already so hard for me to just take them and trust somebody i don't know with them that it just it really hurt me seeing that happened today it really did hurt me mommy's gonna ask you a couple questions okay what do you want to be for halloween lil i'm gonna show you a couple pictures okay mm -hmm. and you're gonna tell me what you want to dress up as Okay, so we have gecko. that's gecko. Okay, next. You're gonna be a, a police officer? You're gonna be a police officer? I like a bus. A bus. A bus. Do you wanna be buzz for Halloween? No? Okay, next. What is that something? That's Spider Man. Good job. Do you wanna be Woody? Woody. You wanna be Woody for Halloween? Yeah. Which one do you want to be? Gecko. Gecko? Yes. Gecko. Come on. You want to be Gecko for Halloween? Yes. Okay. Then Oliver can be Catboy, and I could be Owlet. Wanna Spiderman? You wanna be Spiderman? Yeah. Okay. You got to choose. Gecko or Spiderman? Spiderman. Spiderman? Okay. No. <laughs> no? Gecko. Okay. Gecko or Spiderman? Gecko. Gecko. Okay. Yay! Gecko. We're gonna be Gecko and Oliver Catboy. Wanna turn PJ Mask? PJ Mask, yeah. No. What about Daddy? What's Daddy gonna be Romeo? No, you, you, Daddy. Daddy's gonna be Romeo, huh? Daddy. Yeah. Ha ha ha! He's gonna be a, a villain, and we're gonna be the superheroes. You, you. I what? I let. Yep. I what? You're gonna be Gecko. Like gecko. Yeah, it's gecko. Yay. So yeah, I believe we just chose our Halloween <laughs> costumes. <laughs> and that is great news for me because I was honestly concerned. I haven't really thought about Halloween because, you know, it's still July. <laughs> you want Mickey Mouse? You want Mickey Mouse? No. What do you want? I want I want. You want to be outlet? Yeah. What about me? What I want. What am I gonna be? If you're all let, then who am I gonna be? I am also loving this little fruit bowl I have going on here. It's lasted like three days. I'm not bad. Usually things like that don't last very often, like cute things. So yeah, I can't really have things like that because this apartment just has a weird layout and I'm honestly to the point where I'm like done decorating like i don't even want to try unless it's like a holiday yeah we're about to go we're about to go to um a park nearby and we're gonna get on this little train that i've been dying to get them on so yeah i've been dying to get them to ride well mostly leo because when we moved here he was too little to ride it he was literally like a baby and then as he got older and was okay to write it then they closed it because of covid so now we're actually going to be able to do it and it's great because now they're both going to be able to write it I'm going inside the museum wow look at that choo choo that's so cute it's a baby choo choo wow look at these look they're moving Wow, 
Look at the little people in there. My choo-choo. My choo-choo. You see the choo-choos? The big one up there? Wow, it's all the way up there. Wow! Wow! So we got our tickets for the train. Yeah. yeah. We gotta wait until the next train comes back, which will be around 12. Wow! So we got our tickets. Look at it up there. <laughs> wow! Whoa, look at that big train. We're gonna write something like that. Not really. We're gonna get on a really small one, but. Ready? You're gonna give him the ticket now, okay? Give him the tickets. All right. Oh, thank you. Good thank to... you, sir. Good All job. Right. Okay, very good. There we go. Good job. All right. You hold on to those tickets. Are you excited? That's We're fine. gonna go. Okay. Oliver, say bye. We're gonna go. Bye. <laughs> Look at the other way. Look. Wow. That's so cool. Wow. You see the little buildings? We're going in there with the lights. All of them. Good job. <gasps> Whoa. One more. One more. Good job. Yay. Oliver's turn. Now we are at the playground because they just got to lose some steam after being sitting there. But they did amazing, honestly. I found you. I found you. Loud. We're on our way home, but oh my god, that was so fun. Leo, did you have fun? Yeah. Says that Oliver says no, but he had fun, so that's good enough for me. I had a great time over there, honestly. Yes? Well, anyways, we all had a great time over there. We are also starting the pinata for Oliver today, I believe. Last time it took us like a whole week to finish the, the pinata, like maybe not a whole week, like four days, but literally his birthday party is in a week so like next weekend it's the birthday party so we need to hustle and Mommy. buy the stuff to do it Mommy. what baby you want to go out okay let's get out say bye